Hey, you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV. And today we're going to be taking a look at Magic Samplitude Pro X3. This is their flagship DAW, which allows you to do audio editing, CD and DVD audio burning. It allows you to export DDP files to send your tracks to a duplication house. It allows you to edit, create markers, and even edit CD text. You can even edit ISRC codes, everything like that. It's also recently integrated ARA, which is basically what other DAWs use to actually integrate Melodyne into it so you can have a seamless zero latency workflow without having to actually record down the audio into Melodyne. That is probably one of the most powerful tools. And its audio editing is really amazing. If I just click on this and I go to the object editor, I'll hide my mixer for now. You can see my fades, if I make some fades, I can control my crossfades. It'll even show you right there. But if I take this a step farther and I create a fade right here, Move this over here. If I highlight this track, I can actually control the way and the shape of every individual fade. You can also integrate effects into each clip, meaning that you can put plugins onto clips that only get processed with that. And you have full time and pitch control with your elastic properties here. This is a great way to segue into the fact that you have a bunch of displays and options. You can actually bring any of these little options and lock them into the toolbar, like how I have my meter right here. Again, object editor files, objects, tracks, takes, markers. This was where you could export text, open the CD text managers, play markers on a loop, filter types by markers, and a bunch of other stuff. You have your routing control, your MIDI editor, VSTs, if you have any on your session, and a actual keyboard built in here so you can actually use keys on your actual computer key to play MIDI if you don't have a MIDI keyboard. You also have a really cool visualization which gives you a nice little view of your stereo spectrum, where your focus is, and the actual frequency response. Get the highest whenever you're with me. Now you also have the ability to control your mixer and all things of it right here. You can easily just grab plugins by clicking on here. You can bypass them by left clicking and you can uh, bring them up by right clicking. You can even use the stock built in EQ inside of every individual channel. Now this comes with everything from track freeze, record, mute, solo, solo safe. Right there I input. You can even phase invert and pan and basically do anything you want all from right here. You can hit M and actually have a mixer which you can resize and this has all the control that you really need. You can reset everything from your auxes to your stereo and mono setups. You can create snapshots. You even have EQs that you can control for your master fader. And right here, instead of this being a pan, it becomes a stereo widener. You have the ability to play solo, bypass all the effects, auto record, hide tracks, hide markers. You even have a solo control where you can do AFL, PFL, even have a dim for your monitoring and your soloing. Let's see how this actually sounds. So this is a really simple song I recorded with the artist Joe Kaufman a long time ago. This was in his bedroom. This is a very simple one mic on acoustic guitar, one mic on vocal, and a bass DI. We have one harmony vocal that was done after. I'm going to take off all the processing that I did. So the first thing we're going to listen to is the acoustic guitar. This was a very small acoustic guitar, and I think we used a uh, really small pencil condenser, and I wasn't very happy with it. So let's see what we can turn this into using just these stock EQs and all the effects that come with the pro version of Sabatude X3. So here's it with no processing. Makes it sound a lot more lively, a more movement. And the actual setup is just the essentials effects limiter that comes with it. A lot of these effects are actually sold as effects that you can actually buy to use in other DAWs. Almost invisible. Then I have their stock parametric EQ. Cleans it up. And then I'm using their Essentials Tube Stage, which is basically a saturator, which sounds really, really good. And then, of course, I'm using the EQ.
And then the reverb I'm using is actually this Veriverb Pro, which comes with Samplitude Pro X3. It's a reverb I really, really like. I'm really digging the room sound and I love the plate sound for the vocal. So let's go to the vocal next. Whenever you're with me, sit there for hours and watch the cars go by. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on, pop it up, and we will see what it sounds like. Whenever you're with me, sit there for hours and watch the cars go by. So I obviously did a lot more compression than was needed right there. So I'm going to back that off and see how that sounds. Whenever you're with me, sit there for hours and watch the cars go by. It cool. So let's see how that sounds like with that. Whenever you're with me, sit there for hours and watch the cars go by. It won't and with it. Cars go by. It's pretty cool. Obviously, it was a little heavy handed, but that's why I'm actually using the reverb because I had to be a little heavy handed and I didn't really want to use the uh, object editor. I wanted to see what I could do with just using the basics and stock effects. So I use the reverb to kind of hide the fact that I'm doing a little too much processing than is needed. And I'm going to actually do myself a favor real quick, and I'm going to pop it back up and actually do a little bit less compression, just a tiny bit less. Whenever you're with me, sit there for hours and watch the cars go by. It won't... Versus without it. Whenever you're with me, Sit there for hours and watch the cars go by. Yeah, way better. Whenever you're with me, sit there for hours and watch the cars go by. It won't stop, won't stop you and I. And then the harmony vocal is processed the exact same way and with the exact same reverb. And then we have the bass which has a interesting little process to it. I'm basically making it sound very scooped and bottom end heavy. I'm also gonna bring up the volume just a touch because I'm noticing it's a little quieter. If I bypass it, I'm using the Vandal Guitar and Amp emulation. This is the SE version. They do sell a full on version, but I didn't need it. So let's play this. And that kind of makes it sound like a very indie kind of style bass. So we'll listen to the whole mix. Whenever you're with me, sit there for hours and watch the cars go by. It won't stop, won't stop you and I. Let's move to this section right here. I'll show you what this song really sounds like without any of this. You and I, we got a long, long life to live. And then we'll turn them all back on. And here we go. You and I, we got a long, long life to live. You and I. So overall, I'm really liking these stock plugins. I really like how Samplitude's Pro version of X3 comes with Melodyne Essentials. And I'm loving the ARA integration. I really like this. I hope you guys like the examples because I thought what better way of testing out a DAW than using it in a really simple session that doesn't have a lot. Anyway, that's it for today's video. This has been Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV and I will see you guys next time. Bye.